better. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Kara. I'm a nutritionist and a neurolinguistic programming practitioner. And welcome back to my channel. It is currently 4 p.m. Should you drink coffee at 4 p.m.? That's probably another video topic that I need to cover. No is the answer. Probably, probably shouldn't. You guys know by now that I have a beverage in every single freaking video. I've felt it to be my duty to come to you guys with the best beverages in town. I don't know why I felt like it was my duty. I just adopted this duty. I secretly have a dream that I'm gonna own a coffee shop one day. So maybe that's why I felt like I should do this. But today I'm drinking a coffee. I made this myself. I did not go to Starbucks. It's an iced latte. I ran out of iced cups, so I did it in a hot cup. And today's coffee is this stuff. This stuff the goods. It is organic instant coffee with organic reishi mushroom spores in it. If you are constantly stressed and coffee kind of makes you feel like crap or you just want a healthier coffee to kind of ease into, holy moly, this is a good one. If you're interested, I will leave a link down below so you can check it out. Pretty sure I just drank all of that in a matter of two minutes. I think I need to take these off. No? Okay, I'm gonna put them back on. Okay guys, let's get into the video today. First of all, I wanna say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel and has been watching all my recent videos. It means so, so much to me. So if you haven't seen my very relatable vlog or maybe my last video, what did I even talk about in my last video? or my tarot reading or anything like that. Just go back into my channel and you can look at everything that I've got. If you like my content or anything on my page, please be sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I come out with a new video. I get really pissed at myself whenever I miss my favorite YouTubers videos. So now I always use that notification bell. So you probably clicked on this video because you wanna know how you can finally stop dieting. This topic in itself could be an hour-long video. I could easily make this an hour-long video, but I'm not going to. As a nutritional therapist myself, what really inspired me to go into nutritional therapy and to help other women like me is my own health story, my whole host of health issues that I have dealt with, and also my love for eating healthy. And I'm sure if you're watching this, you too have some sort of desire to eat healthier, to think healthier, to be healthier, just to have a healthier life. A lot of times when we are wanting to be healthier, we start trying diet after diet after diet, and before you know it, you've ran through every single diet in the freaking book, but you still haven't found the results and you're left just feeling confused and sad. It's just not fun. And today I kinda wanna share just a little bit and piece of my story because I too was a serious chronic dieter, probably ever since I was 13. When I was a freshman in high school, I was called thick by a lot of the guys my age and I took this super offensively. I didn't wanna be the thick girl. And I mean, looking at it now, it's true. I mean, I have a big butt and big leg. And it was like my mission ever since I heard that, that I was not going to be thick anymore. All you need to know is my years and years and years of trying to jump from diet to diet to diet to find my silver bullet, my missing piece, my magic answer, the thing that was going to help me lose that last 10 pounds, the thing that was gonna heal my gut, the thing that was going to make me not have brain fog anymore. This pursuit for the perfect diet left me with very bad eating habits. I had disordered eating and it messed with me mentally. It really messed with my relationship with food. There was a period of time where I was binging and purging and I was still searching for that magic bullet diet, that thing that was going to fix me and magically make me better and whole and complete and skinnier. And let me tell you something, I still haven't found that. I had to give that up. I think finding this perfect diet, this perfect way of eating, needs to leave, especially for young women. And one of my goals on this channel, I wanna help young women stop dieting. I want to help young women get into a habit of 
eating healthy and living a healthy lifestyle and thinking healthfully about themselves, loving themselves, embracing the body they have. But that doesn't mean that you can't strive for improvement, but embracing the body you have and not punishing your body with restriction and dieting. It's already 10 minutes into the video and I am on a rant. Let's get into the story. Like I said, when I was a teenager, I messed around here and there with calorie counting. And I remember at one point I got down to a thousand calories and I was extremely proud of myself, which let me tell you, homegirl, that is not something to be proud of. Eating a thousand calories in a day is not something that you want to get a freaking high five for. Unless you're like a 10 year old child, maybe even younger than that. A thousand calories is not sufficient if you are an active, growing, developing young woman. Then in college, I did what any normal college student would do, ate everything. And I definitely gained some weight, but then I had a whole host of digested, di whole host of digestive health problems, which actually led me to leave and drop out of school entirely. I lost a bunch of weight. I became the thinnest I'd ever been in my whole entire life. But this was mainly because of a health concern and health issue. And just knowing that I could get down to that low of a body weight for me kind of mentally messed with me. And once I started to get healthier and gain my weight back in a healthy way, I thought, what's wrong with me? Why am I not 100 to 100? 115 pounds. Then I was on a pursuit of health. I wanted to heal my gut, heal my hormones. As I dove into health, I found out about all of these therapeutic diets like paleo, keto, carnivore, vegan, the medical medium thing, if any of y'all know about that. And I tried them all on my pursuit of health. And I think it's fine to do that. And I'm very thankful that I did that. It was the thought in the back of my mind that there was one diet that could fix me. There was one diet that could cure me. I was just waiting for somebody to come and save me. And that is what I think dieting all boils down to. We're all looking for something to save us from ourselves. We don't like the way that we look. We don't like the way that we feel. And so we're giving our power to this external source, giving our power to food, to food, rather than looking inwards and taking that responsibility, taking that power for ourselves and knowing that we have the power to heal ourselves. But instead, we keep putting it outwards, looking for the right diet instead of looking to change our lifestyle. And we're just looking for that thing, that one thing to come save us. And if you have ever jumped from diet to diet to diet, maybe it's time to re-examine this mindset. Maybe it's time to ask yourself, am I waiting for something to come and save me. Now I wanna make something really clear. I don't have issues with people going on diets. In fact, going on diets is super beneficial for a lot of people and for certain medical conditions. Going low carb or keto, amazing for people with type one and type two diabetes. And for me, going paleo is what helped my gut facilitate healing. So I actually encourage people to try out new diets that really resonate with them. However, it's your intent behind why you're trying the diet that I'd like for you guys to really just think about. And it was something that I had to think about too. Are you doing this diet because you're searching for the next best thing? The thing that's going to save you? Or are you doing this diet because you're genuinely interested as to how this will make you feel and all the health benefits that you could receive by doing this diet. What's your goal? Figure out your intention, figure out your motive. If your motive is, well, I'm still searching for that perfect diet. You should probably not do it. Once you kind of get it straight in your head that there is no diet that's gonna come and save you, there are diets in bits and pieces of eating styles that you can incorporate into your life that will benefit you, that will help you. For example, I did carnivore for a month and ever since then, I have been more keto carnivore than ever. But what actually inspired me to go carnivore was not the fact that I could lose all this water weight, have a bunch of weight loss, and be skinny. What inspired me to go carnivore were all of the testimonials of how great their digestive system was. And I knew personally that I'd always been struggling with digestion. I wasn't attached to the idea that carnivore could save me or be my cure-all, but I was curious to see if I could learn anything 
from going carnivore. Do you see where the mindsets are a little bit different? Wasn't looking for a savior, I wasn't looking for a magic diet, I was genuinely just coming at things from a place of curiosity. And I found that carnivore gave me great, great, great results. Digestively, I feel amazing, but energy-wise, I was lagging. So now I do more of a keto carnivore approach. If you're interested, I can do a whole video on that. But I think it's time that we start making decisions by thinking about our intentions. What are our intentions? What are the beliefs that we hold around the decisions that we're about to make with our food? Next time you think about intermittent fasting or going keto, I want you guys to go back to your intentions and why you wanna do it. At the end of the day, you have to remember this. It's just food. And if you let your life be run by food, you're probably gonna be miserable. Okay, that's all I had to say. I'm going to finish my coffee and edit this video. Comment down below if you like my blue blockers. Um, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Please remember to subscribe and leave your notification bell on. I wasn't feeling very funny today. I'm sorry I didn't come out with all the jokes, but see you in the next video.